class. We are now on the quarter to week one. I'm your teacher, Mrs. Lori A. Develos. So for this week, we're about to discuss setting up table appointments in the dining area. So for the objectives, number one, set tables within the required time frames in accordance with the standards and our customers' special requests. Number two, dress tables according to standard procedures and or any approved special requirements. Number three, check cleanliness and condition of tables, glassware, serviceware, and cutlery prior to service. And the last one is remove, clean, and replace items that are below standard based on relevant guidelines. So are you ready for this week's lesson? So once we say table setting refers to the way in which the table appointments and food are arranged on the table for dining. How the table should be set depends on first, the style of service to be used. Next, the menu to be served, the size of the table and the available table appointment. So on the previous quarter that we had, we discussed all about the different table appointments, so was with the cutleries. So, ano-ano nga bang mga ito, di ba? Those different sizes of plates, different kinds of forks, spoons, cup and saucer, bowls, glasses, so on and so forth. So, those are the different table appointments that are needed if we're going to set the table based on the customer's preference. So, kung ready mo yon, yung mga gamit na yon, depende sa gusto ng customer. Once we say table setting, it's not only the table appointments that have to be arranged, but so as with the food. Let's proceed. So, table appointments, these are table implements or utensils that are used for dining and serving, which includes the flatware, the dinnerware, the glassware, hallowware, and linens. So even those table napkins and table cloth is considered as table appointments. Basta lahat ng gamit na gagamitin sa pag-serve ng food at para ito ay makain ng customer, all of the things or utensils or implements is what we call table appointments in general. So, next we have the cover. A cover is the space required on a table for table appointment for one person to partake of a meal. This is considered as the smallest unit in the table setting, approximately 24 by 15 inches. An imaginary line may be drawn into may be drawn to define the cover about one to one and a half inches from the table edge. Then we have the place setting, the arrangement and the way to set a table with tableware and for serving and eating for a single diner. So those are the table setting or place setting. How about the table accessories? These are items essential to complete the table setup, which include salt and pepper set or shakers, the cruets, the ash tree, flower vases, and then the tent. So, hindi yun kasama sa table appointments. Ang 
salt and pepper shakers, ang cuwets at ang ash tray, flower vases, at ang tent menu ay hindi siya table appointment, bagkos ito ay table accessories. So ano nga ba ang sinasabi nating cover at ang place setting? So, this is a picture of one cover in which all of the table appointments are well arranged. So, ibig sabihin, sa picture na ito, ipinapakita, ito yung gagamitin ng isang diner. So, kapag ako ay magda-dine in in a particular restaurant, I am considered as a diner. I am considered as a customer. So, yan pinapakita sa picture ang mga table appointments so as na kailangan kong gamitin. So, hindi ako kailangan mangiram sa katabi kong diner kahit pa siya ay kasama ko o sa kaharap ko kaya. So, yung, yung table na ipinapakita sa picture together with the different table appointments ay isang cover. So, iba ito sa cover na alam natin, na pang -takip. Kapag sinabi natin cover, in terms of the food and beverage service, ito yung isang place para sa isang diner. Let's proceed. So, what are the different types of place setting? The first one is the a la carte setting or the basic place setting. An a la carte is the term used for a menu that has individually priced dishes. These dishes are divided into entree, salads, main course, and desserts. Sa a la carte setting, kung mag-order ka, halimbawa, may salad, kapag sinabi nating main course, ito ay ulam, di ba? Or dessert, bawat isa nun ay isa-isa ang presyo. Iba ang presyo ng dessert, ng main course, ng salad, or ng entree kaya. So, yun ang a la carte menu or setting. So, as with the a la carte menu, parehas lang po yun. Next, we have the table de hood place setting. A table de hood menu is a type of menu that has set price for several courses. That means, table of the most. So, yun ang meaning ng table de hood. Table of the host. Next, so these are the pictures for table de hood setting. Style of table setup. So we have the different styles. The first one is the American style or also called plated service. So American style is considered as formal American style place setting in which it retains the familiar fork on the left and knife on the right positions common to most a dinner table. So, kapag nakakita kayo ng ganong setup in a particular restaurant or in a particular hotel in which the fork is placed on the left side of the diner and the fork and, and the knife rather is on the right side, that setting is what we call American style of table setup. So, this is the appearance of the American style table service. So, it is correct, no? The knife placed on the right side of the diner and then the fork is on the left side of the diner. Next, we have the French style of table setup, also called Geridon service. Bakit kaya siya tinawag na Geridon service? Partially prepared foods are finished cooking on the chon or the small portable stove that is on a geridon or the movable service trolley. So, from the kitchen, dadaling doon sa diner or sa customer, uh, partially prepared siya. Kung baga, half cook pa lamang for example. So, lulutuin yun, no doon sa small portable stove na nakalagay sa geridon or sa movable service trolley. Nino? Or sino ang magluluto? So, the chef durang or the senior waiter finishes the preparation of the pre-prepared food near the guest table and individually plates the finished foods. Then, the commis de rank or the lowest ranking waiter are the one responsible in serving the prepared food to the left-hand side of the guest. So, tandaan yon. So, dito sa style of service na to, Lulutuin ang pagkain sa harapan mismo 
ng customer. Sino ang magluluto? Ang chef de rang. Then, sino ang magsaserve nito after it is plated or nilagay sa individual na pinggan? Of course, ang commis de rang or ang lowest ranking waiter. Next, so ito ang French setup style. May pagkakaiba ba? Sa mga nauna? Yes, meron yan. So, let's continue. How about the Russian style of table setup or also called blotter service? So, Russian style, table settings are formal setting used for banke, formal dinner events, and any fine dining restaurants. The table setting is distinctive and appealing, whereas the dinnerware, the glassware, and flatware are placed precisely on the table. So, nabanggit na kung ano ang mga naan doon dapat sa lamesa. We have the dinnerware, the glassware, and then the flatware. So, these are the Russian service setup style. So, what are the standard of table setting? Of course, first and foremost, completeness of what? Of table appointments, so as with the food. The next, we have the cleanliness and condition of the equipment. We discussed it before that bef before you are going to use any equipment, utensils, or implements, see to it that it was checked before you use it. It was clean and in good condition. Next, a balance and uniformity. So, you were able to see how to set up table for French for American table service. So, it have to have a balance and uniformity. Next, the order. So, ano nga bang pagkakasunod-sunod? Tandaan, my dear TVL class, ang pagkakasunod-sunod ng arrangement ng lahat ng table appointments ay base sa gamit ng mga ito. Diba? Kahit pa may tatlong tinidor sa kaliwa mo, may kutsara at kutsilyo sa kanan mo, alin ba doon ang dapat na unang gagamitin? Yun ang nandon sa pinakatabi ng pinggan. So, tatandaan nyo yan. Of course, I appeal. So, table appointments pa lang, table implements pa lang. Table utensils pa lang dapat appealing na to the eye of the diner or, or of the customer. No? And then of course, timeliness. Timeliness, kung 6 o'clock ang diner nakakain, see to it that at around 5.30, you were able to finish setting up a table. Hindi yung 6 o'clock in the evening magdi-dinner ang inyong customer magsiset up ka pa lang ng 6 o'clock din in the evening. On that way, no, walang customer na maghihintay sa pagsiset up mo. So that's all for our quarter 2 week 1. Congratulations everyone!